My name is Peyton Davidson. Coming in to see Dr. Emmer to reconstruct the contour of my chest. Previously, I've had three surgeries to fix gynecomastia in my chest. The gland was partially removed, but then um, grew back. Finally, I flew up to White Plains, New York, where really from the liposuction in that second surgery, it really hollowed my chest out. It kind of left me with a contour issue, especially in the bottom part of my chest. That's really when I started digging for information. Calling around, I called all of the gynecomastia specialists and they actually, <laughs> by name, said, do you know who Dr. Emmer is? There's a guy named Dr. Emmer. He's the guy who can harvest fat from another part of your body and kind of put it back into your chest and fill those voids or those crater deformities where uh, the previous plastic surgeons went in and were too aggressive with. My younger patient here had numerous liposuctions that were performed, causing his chest to look caved in, have indentations, and especially when he would squeeze in, it would make his chest look sad and sagging. High def body sculpting is not traditional lipo. This is a type of procedure that allows you to define the body, to remove large amounts of fat, to tighten skin, improve cellulite, give the body curves and shape, as well as muscular definition. To make this patient improved and to get an ultimate result, we had to do a combination technique. It's like doing numerous liposuctions in one. This patient had amazing underlying abs, so we were able to do high def sculpting on his stomach. We also use internal radio frequency Renuvion helium plasma to tighten the surrounding skin so that we could create an inferior and lateral border to the chest, making it squared off and tight. We use energy based devices like ultrasound and radio frequency to steam heat the fat, to extract the fat and tighten the skin and harvest that fat to use it for grafting. And that fat grafted to his chest, we can create a lateral border that's defined, an inferior border of the chest that's squared off to give definition and size. Not only removing fat from various areas of his body, but we also had to do our unique nipple lift technique. The nipple lifting procedure is quite simple, but needs to be done meticulously. An incision is made around the nipple to keep the scar completely hidden. Very meticulous suturing is done around the border of the nipple, pulling the skin in and lifting the nipple up a few centimeters. This small bit of lifting prevents indentations behind the nipple, especially when the men flex, and also make the chest much tighter as the aging process occurs after surgery so that there is a much longer lasting result. Just wanted to take a video quick and kind of show you where I'm at. Um, everything's pretty tight right now. I've just been keeping as uh, compressed as possible.